In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send a remote push notification. So in your Firebase account, I will show you how you can create your Fire account, how you can create your first project and how you can send the test notification. Like here, I want to say title test. And for this, I want to, I can put whatever I want in here and I can hit send message and there will be a token i will explain everything to you and we, when we hit test there will be a notification in here title test and that gibberish stuff that i put in here so without any further ado let's begin Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video we're going to talk about the remote push notification. So let's just create a new project. Let's call it remote push notification. And in here you don't need an object, no. Just go to marketplace, open the marketplace and search for Google push notification and add it to your account. After that, just go to your library, refresh it and go to next page and you can find it here we can push notification download it add it to your project the only thing that you want is this extension add it to your project click import so now you can close the library now that you add this extension you should go to firebase so now i'm in my firebase account and i want to create a new project enter your project name let's just say test push notification whatever name you want and then click on continue in here click on continue here as well select an account in here and create your project wait until it's finished now that it's finished click on continue and your project will be open in the project overview select this android in here and in here the android package name should be the same that you set in your game option android and in general so you can see com i want to say in here mapco game com mapco game so that's what we should put in here com mopco dot game and for the name i want to say it's a test notification you can call it whatever you want and after that just register app in here they give you a google service.json download this we need this so click on it to be downloaded so now that is downloaded just open it you can open it with whatever note editor that you have you can open it with notepad but i did open it with visual studio code because it's more beautiful so we need that for later so let's just minimize this and click next on here we don't need any of these click next and continue to the console now that we are in our console just click on here go to project setting in the project setting go to service accounts in the service account click on these three service accounts when it's open just go to service accounts so now that service account is open just click in here firebase admin sticker and you can see the project that we are working for is selected over here so it should be the project that we are working and after it's open there is a unique id just copy this with ctrl c go to your game maker in game option if you click in here game option go to android and in android go to in social and paste it here and click ok ok in here as well so everything is set up now we can just close this and go back to our firebase account in firebase account just go to cloud messaging and you can see that we can send our first message so click in here 
you can set a title let's just say test title for the notification test it's just a test notification okay so there there are another option is in here if you hit next you should select the target app that you want to send your message there is a scheduling when do you want to send it and all the optional choices that you have here and you can send it where whenever you want but in this case i want to just send a test message so for that you can just in this first step you can just select send text message and it need a fcm registration token it's just for testing after you publish your game uh, you don't need to set this fcm registration token it's just for testing okay so you see no test device configured so what we should do we should go to our game maker you remember that we download google service.json from our firebase account and it give us this we should put it in in our game maker project so for that just go to extensions right click on this extension that we downloaded from marketplace open it in explorer and here go to android source go to res go to values and open this gfn values and in here we should set all of these variables so first thing to do is app id so let's just go to our json the app id is here you can see that let's just copy and paste this copy and paste it in here next thing is client id so let's just go here the client id is here so let's just copy it and paste it on the client id section next thing is api key you don't need this database url because you 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 are not using a database so you need to replace this api key after that so let's just go and the api key is here so let's just copy this with ctrl c and paste it and replace it with the one that is with game maker the project id let's just go here and the project id are here let's just copy this and paste it on our project id after this just save it make sure it's saved and now we're done with configuring the uh, over game maker project i did run a emulator in here to test it in here i should select android and select the device that i want to run it on and after that i just go to game option go to android and select all the architecture so it can be installed on all the phones out there so after that hit ok and run it so now that our app is running just go to your output and in here if it go up there is fcm registration token refreshed and just copy this it's just for testing when when you want to send a test message to the test device you should use this every fcm registration token but after you publish your game you can just send message or notification to all of your client so now that we have that token we can just go to send test message and here paste that token and click on here and select it and hit test and the notification should be up here and you can see the notification is here and if we change the notification in here to whatever we want and again test it you can see that it will be in here as well each time that you run your game there will be a another fcm register token test for you so every time you should copy and paste that if you want to test it but if you don't want to test it you can just go here create your notification hit next 
the target you want to set is your app and hit next and when do you want to send it you can customize it or daily i'm just saying no the conversion of it's just an optional and for these additional options it's just you can send custom data like gold i want to add you 100 gold right and you can see there is maybe a time that your notification won't received with your by your client so it takes four weeks for your client to be online to get that notification so you can set it to uh, have a sound or not and for the getting this custom data you should just go to here and create an object for that and i want to call it obg remote notification and you should add this to your room and when you add it just open it and add this async async push notification event to your event if you want to see what is coming and how to to get that data i will show you i can't test it i should publish my game and uh, actually send notification to all my clients to test this but for testing i can't do that but i will show you how you can do it one thing that i i do in all of these async events is i show it with debug messages so I say async push notification event is so after that we can say JSON encode and in here async load and with that you get whatever event that your game get and show it in debug messages know that we add this let's just run it and remember whenever you run your game because you're in a test phase it will give you another token for testing you can test with your published app so you where our game is running and the first thing first you can see that our debug message show the events that is coming to our game at the initialization so it will give us a registration id and that's exactly what we can get from our fcm registration token that is exactly the same so we can copy it so let's just send it and we can see that in our output and you can see that the async push notification event is data zero type is removed and status is one so if we go to your um, firebase account and in this notification go to additional option in here i can say just gold is equal 100 it's just a additional options so it's just a custom data we can say gold is 100 and we can give them 100 we, i can't test it on my published game because i can't test on my client so i can't show you this but i can show you how you can get this type for example so the way that you can get this type you can say var type equal is map point value for the id is async load and for the key is exactly this the type so we can copy it and paste it here and with the debug message we can show what is the type so i will put this for you to see it clearly the type is a type so that's how you can do that now let's just run it to see how you can get type 
if you want to get this gold this 100 you can you can get it exactly like how you get the type in here so you know that every time that we we run our game there will be a new registration or token so let's just go up of course you can copy from this event that we show it in here so let's just copy it from here Control c to copy and in here go to notifications and message for testing and add it at send and if we go here you can see that the type is removed and we can get any data from that so that's how easy it is done it get i i thought maybe it's get just four to five minutes to initialize this and send a notification but it take longer than that but it's worth it in the future with those i want to talk about all the feature that firebase have like like cloud saving like high score or everything like that that you need google and firebase thank you very much for watching please if you like this video hit the like button or subscribe button Thank you very much for watching. Bye.